Hello everyone, welcome back to Math with Allison. Today we're working in our curve series, so we're going to be talking about polar curves and specifically cardioids. So let's go ahead and dive into it. A cardioid is going to be of the form r is equal to a plus or minus sine of theta or a plus or minus a cosine theta. So a is just going to represent a number. So here we see our first example, r is equal to 1 plus, that's actually 1 sine of theta. So we're going to talk about the general form of these shapes and also how we can practice graphing it out. And I always suggest graphing it out just by plotting points, right? Just like we do when we're learning about x and y curves. When we're working with parabolas, we learn how to do it by graphing out points. So we're going to do the same thing here. So we get 1 plus sine theta. Our input is going to be the theta values, and our output is going to be the radius, or the distance that we have to go. So the first points I always suggest you do are the most important, right, is we have just the ma major axes, right? We have 0 pi over 2, pi 3 pi over 2. So let's go ahead and plug in points. We get 1 plus sine of 0, and we know that sine of 0 is equal to 0. So we get 1 plus 0 is just equal to 1. So we're going to find our angle, which is going to be 0, and we're going to go out a radius of 1. Next, we're going to plug in pi over 2. So we get 1 plus sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1, right? So we get 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So I'm going to find my angle pi over 2, and I'm going to go out a radius of 2. So 1, 2. And our point's going to be right there. Now with pi, right, we know sine of pi is also equal to 0. So we get 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So with our angle pi, I'm going to go out a distance of 1. So finally, we have 3 pi over 2. 1 plus sine of 3 pi over 2, right? Sine of 3 pi over 2 is equal to negative 1. So we get 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. And so that is finally going to be where we hit the origin. Now, if we look at this, this doesn't give us much information to help us plot the point. So the next set that I suggest you do are going to be all of the diagonals. So pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4, right? So let's go ahead and plug in those values. So 1 plus sine of pi over 4. We know that sine of pi over 4 is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So we're going to go ahead and plug it into our handy-dandy calculator. Beautiful. We get 1 plus square root of 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1.707 approximately. So let's go ahead and find our angle pi over 4. I want to go out a distance of 1.707. So it's going to be something right there. And we also know that 1 plus sine of 3 pi over 4 is going to be equal to the exact same thing. Sine of 3 pi over 4 is also root 2 over 2. So we get 1.707. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find our angle. 3 pi over 4. And I'm going to go out a distance of 1.707, which is probably right there. Now let's talk about um, 5 pi over 4. Sine of 5 pi over 4, now we're going down, is going to be negative root 2 over 2. So let's go and find out what that is. 1 minus the square root of 2 divided by 2, that's going to be 0 0.293. I'll go to round up. So here when we go down to our angle, 5 pi over 4, I'm just going to go out a radius super small of like about 0 0.3, which is going to be something right there. And I know for 7 pi over 4, I'm going to do the exact same thing, right? Because that's going to be the exact same point. So let's go ahead and fill that in. We get 0 0.293. And now we have something that might be easier to graph out. We have something that goes out and around like this. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and see the general shape. The general form of one, a plus a sine of theta, so I'll write that down. This is a plus a sine of theta is equal to r. It's going to look like a squished circle. It's like I took a circle and I literally squished it upwards. Oops. And it's going to extend in the positive y direction, right? Because remember that y is associated with sine. y is equal to r sine of theta. So when we see that um, sine theta, you can think it's going to open or it's going to be much larger in the y direction. So question is, we, we graph this out. Now, what if I change this to 1 minus sine of theta? Let's go ahead and plot some points, right? So first, we're going to plug in the important points, right? We're going to plug in 0. We get 1 minus sine of 0. Sine of 0 is equal to 0, so we get 1. 
Same thing for pi, right? We know that sine of pi is equal to zero, so we get one minus zero. So we go out to this point right here. Now let's talk about pi over two. We get one minus sine of pi over two, which we know is equal to one. So we get one minus one, which is equal to zero. So here I go in that point right there. And now three pi over two. We end up with one minus negative one, which is equal to two. And so we go out a distance of two at the angle of three pi over two. Now, if we were to plug in the rest of these, one minus sine of pi over four, that's equal to one minus root two over two, which we found to be, what was it, 0 0.293. So for both pi over four and three pi over four, right, because those are the same thing, we're gonna get 0 0.293. So let's go ahead and see that. Pi over four, we're gonna go out like, what, 0.3? Same thing with three pi over four, we're gonna go out like 0.3, something like that. And now you can probably see what's happening here, but we'll fill in the rest of these points, right? One minus sine of five pi over four, that's gonna be one minus a negative number, which turns into a plus. So one plus root two over two. And the last time we found that to be 1.707, and so this will also be 1.707. Now let's go ahead and see those drawn out. So this is my five pi over four, and I'm gonna go out a distance of 1.7, which would be something like that. And here is our seven pi over four. I'm gonna go out a distance of about 1.7. So here we can see our shape, it's gonna be exactly the same, but it's gonna open in the opposite y direction. So let's see that drawn out. Here's a general form, right? This is gonna be r is equal to a minus a sine of theta. We're still opening on the y axis, right? But now instead of going up, we're gonna go downwards because we're subtracting. Now let's see what happens when we change this to cosine. So here I have two plus two cosine theta. I know it's a cardioid because I have a plus a. I have the same number right there. Now remember, sine of theta opens in the y direction. It tells us if it's positive, it opens in the upper y direction. If it's minus, it opens in the lower y direction. You can probably assume the same thing is gonna happen, but now we're gonna go in the x direction, right? Remember that x is equal to r cosine of theta. So when you see cosine of theta, maybe you can start thinking about x. But let's go ahead and plug in values just to be sure. So here, we first, when we plug in zero, we get two plus two cosine of zero. Cosine of zero is equal to one. So this is two plus two, which is equal to four. So in our, you know, angle of zero, we're gonna go all the way out a radius of four. Now let's go ahead and change this to pi over two. So two plus two cosine of pi over two, Cosine of pi over two is equal to zero. So really this is just two plus zero, which is equal to two. So I'm gonna go um, out, I'm gonna find my angle pi over two and I'm gonna go out a distance of two. Now the same thing is gonna happen at three pi over two, right? If this was three pi over two, cosine of three pi over two is still zero. So here we're gonna go out three pi over two and we're gonna go out a distance of two. So one, two. Now let's go ahead and fill in pi. Cosine of pi is equal to negative one. So this is gonna be two minus two, which is equal to zero. And so that's gonna be our origin right there. You can maybe assume you can see the shape happening a little bit, but let's fill in our pi over fours. So here we get two plus two cosine of pi over four, which we know cosine of pi over four is root two over two. We get those twos cancel out. So we get two plus the square root of two, which let's go ahead and use our handy dandy calculator. 2 plus root 2 is equal to 3.414. So the other time that cosine of a pi over 4 is going to be positive is actually at 7 pi over 4, right? So this one's also going to be 3.414. So that one's also going to be 3.414 because that is when the x direction is positive, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and plot those two points. First, at pi over four, we're gonna go out a distance of 3.414, which will probably be something like that. And we're also gonna do that for seven pi over four. We'll go out a distance of 3.414, probably somewhere right there. Now, three pi over four and five pi over four, that's gonna be where the cosine is negative. So that's gonna be two minus the root two. Let's go ahead and find out what that's equal to. Two minus square root of two is about 0 0.586. 
Same thing right here, 0 0.586. Let's go ahead and plug those in. So here, 3 pi over 4. We're going to go out a distance of, what was it, about 0 0.6. Let's see if we can do that, 0 0.6. I don't know, somewhere right there. Same thing with 5 pi over 4, right? We're going to go out probably something like that. Not, it's okay if it's not perfect, right? And this helps us get a general idea for the shape. So we're going to go out and around. You can probably draw better than me. I tried my best. Let's see an actual example because that's going to be much more helpful. Here we have the general form. This is going to be for when we have r is equal to a plus a cosine of theta. We're going to open in the x direction. And since we have a plus right there, we're going to go in the positive x direction. So you can probably question yourself already. What happens when we have a minus right there? So here we have 2 minus 2 cosine of theta. Let's go ahead and see how it changes. So first we have 2 minus 2 cosine of 0. I'll go ahead and write that out here. 2 minus 2 cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is equal to 1. So this is 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0. So we start with the origin, 0, 0. Now let's go ahead and plug in pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0, so we get 2 minus 0, which is equal to 2. So for pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, we're going to go out a distance of 2. So let's go ahead and plot those. We go up 2, and we're going to go down 2. Now our last angle is going to be indeed pi. Let's go ahead and see what happens with pi. Pi, cosine of pi, is equal to negative 1. So here we get 2 plus 2 because those negatives cancel out, right? And we end up with 4. So when we go in the pi direction, we're going to extend that distance of 4. So if you want to plug in the extra values, you're totally welcome to do that just to test it out, right? So here we get 2 minus 2 cosine of pi over 4. That's going to be 2 minus the square root of 2, right? Root 2 over 2, those cancels out, those 2s. So you get 2 minus the square root of 2 is equal to, but I'm just going to round up to 0 0.6. So this is going to be 0 0.6, and at 7 pi over 4, we're going to have 0 0.6. That means our other values, which we found was 3.414, I'll just write that as 3.4, are going to be in the 3 pi over 4 and the 5 pi over 4 direction, right? So let's go ahead and fill these in. First, pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4 are when we go out about 0 0.6, which will be about that distance. And then for 3 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4, that's when the negatives cancel out and it turns into a plus, right? And so we go about 3.4-ish. And now we can see how this cardioid is going to open up when we change that to a minus. So let's go ahead and see that more professionally done. Here we have the general form, and this is going to be for when we have r is equal to a minus a cosine of theta. We're still opening up in the x direction. But now we're going to go in the negative x direction because we have that minus. So let's see all of this just in a nice little summary. When we have sine of theta, we're going to open up in the y direction. How we open up is going to depend on if we have a plus or a minus. When we have a plus, we are going to go up a distance of 2a. When we have a minus, we're going to go down a distance of 2a. Now, same thing with cosine of theta. We're going to open up in the x direction, but again, it's going to depend on that plus or minus. So here, when we have a plus, we're going to open up and we're going to go out a distance of 2a in the positive x direction. And then when we have a minus, and we're going to go out a distance of 2a in the negative x direction. So that is all I have for us today. If you enjoyed this video, I have many more like it, so make sure to check out my playlist. They're linked down below. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and comment other problems or topics you'd like to see done. Thanks for watching.